Hello everyone, my name is Quad and today we will go over everything about Arkwings, lore-wise. This is the Hall of Mirrors series, a series in which we cover all the lore about Warframe. Be sure to like and comment which thing you want to hear about next, I will gladly listen to any suggestions. But now let's start with the Arkwings. The Arkwings, an all-environmental flight system of Orc in design, grants the Tenno the power to soar through space and engage in combat like never before. The Arkwing is comprised of three vital components – wings, harness and systems. These interconnected parts work in harmony to provide the Tenno with unmatched firepower and unparalleled mobility, while giving them life support on the top. The Odonata Prime Arkwing, a masterpiece of Orokin engineering, is believed to be the progenitor of its kind. Its sleek design and graceful form serve as a testament to the ingenuity of the Orokin Empire, a versatile war machine possessing both formidable defensive power and potent offensive capabilities. It stands as a guardian capable of warding off long-range enemy attacks and dealing devastating damage to foes from a distance. Diodonata's first ability, Energy Shell, showcases its defensive prowess. With a surge of energy, it builds a protective shell around the Warframe, bolstering its defenses and providing a shield against incoming attacks, ensuring the Tenno's survival in the heat of battle. When faced with a guided missile threat, Diodonata employs its second ability, Disarray. By dropping a strategic beacon, it confuses enemy guided missiles diverting their paths and rendering them harmless, granting the Tenno precious moments to regroup and retaliate. Diodonata's offensive might is revealed through its third ability, Seeking Fire. It unleashes a salvo of homing missiles blanketing the battlefield in explosive devastation, raining destruction upon multiple enemies from a distance. And in the moments of close quarters combat, Diodonata harnesses its fourth ability, Repel, unleashing a massive pulse of energy which stuns and repels nearby enemies, creating a defensive barrier and buying the Tenno precious time to reposition or unleash further onslaught. However, Diodonata Prime is not alone. In the vast reaches of the Origin system, other Arcwing designs have emerged, each serving a unique purpose and harnessing different capabilities. The Amesh Arcwing is a support-style marvel. While it may lack the brute force of its counterparts, the Amesh more than compensates with its extraordinary defensive capabilities and unwavering dedication to the well-being of its allies. The Amesh Arcwing's first ability, Watchful Swarm, deploys a squadron of tiny drones that swarm around its allies, forming a protective shield against incoming fire. These diligent companions intercept and divert enemy attacks, safeguarding the Amesh's squad from harm. In times of dire need, Amesh calls upon its second ability, Benevolent Decoy. By creating decoys that mimic the appearance of its allies, the Arcwing baits enemy attacks, but instead of causing harm, each strike against these decoys triggers a healing effect, mending the wounds of the comrades. But Amesh's protective nature extends beyond healing alone. With its third ability, Warding Grace, the Arcwing envelops nearby allies in a shimmering aura of protection. This aura shields allies from harm and diminishes the speed of approaching enemies, granting the Tenno a critical advantage in battle. And the last ability of Amesh, when faced with overwhelming odds, it taps into its own resilience. Fourth ability, Vengeful Rush, enhances all of its abilities and transforms incoming damage into a potent energy source. This surge of energy fuels the Amesh, allowing it to sustain its supportive efforts and keep its allies fighting. On the other hand, there is Itzal. Itzal Arcwing, a remarkable fusion of stealth and supportive technologies, is designed to remain hidden from enemy attention as it strikes with powerful disruptive abilities, sacrificing durability in favor of an abundant energy capacity. The Itzal's first ability, Arch Line, showcases its tactical versatility, 
With a swift flick of its harness, the Arcwing projects a line that can hook enemies and draw them closer, or it can pull a Tenno towards a stationary object, enabling strategic positioning on the battlefield. At the core of the Itzal stealth capabilities lies its second ability, Penumbra. By activating a cloaking field, the Arcwing vanishes from sight, shrouding itself in shadows. This remarkable feat is made possible by the Tellurium-based components of its advanced technology. In moments of confrontation, the Itzal employs its third ability, Cosmic Crush, to devastating effect. Harnessing the power of a miniature black hole, the Arcwing unleashes a shockwave that crushes nearby enemies, obliterating them in its gravitational grip. But the Itzal is not alone in its endeavors. Its fourth ability, Fighter Escort, demonstrates some supportive capabilities. By deploying kamikaze drones, the Arcwing provides aerial assistance, engaging enemy forces and creating a diversion, giving the Tenno valuable time to regroup or strike with precision. Swift as the winds, the Itzal Arcwing embodies unparalleled speed among its counterparts. Its advanced technologies, concealed beneath its sleek frame, allow it to vanish from enemy detection, while wielding disruptive power amongst all who stand in its path. And the last, Elytron. Elytron Arcwing, an offensive powerhouse specializing in devastating area bombardment. With an arsenal of destructive missiles and unparalleled durability, it reigns supreme among its Arcwing brethren. The Elytron's first ability, Bloomer, showcases its proficiency in annihilation. It launches a high-yield remotely detonated projectile that seeks out targets, latching onto them before unleashing a cataclysmic explosion, decimating multiple enemies at once. When faced with hailstorm of incoming projectiles, the Elytron deploys its second ability, Core Vent. By venting out the propulsion core of the Arcwing, it creates a detonation that obliterates all enemy projectiles within its vicinity ensuring the Tenno remains unscratched. The Elytron's third ability, Thumper, heralds the creation of localized storm of destruction. It generates a small-scale tempest, tearing through enemies and their defenses, leaving nothing but chaos in its wake. When the situation calls for overwhelming force, the Elytron harnesses its ultimate ability, Warhead. It unleashes a colossal missile that soars through the skies causing a cataclysmic explosion upon impact, engulfing the battlefield in a fiery inferno. Its array of destructive abilities and formidable durability makes it a force to be reckoned with. But alas, the Arcwings, despite their name, are not limited to the vastness of space. They can navigate the depths of the sea, unleashing their might against underwater adversaries. But all these Arcwings were actually not in the possession of the Tenno for quite a while. The technology for them was lost for ages, buried within the remnants of the fallen Orokin Empire. It seemed as though these incredible war machines would remain dormant and lost forever. And that is until a notorious dealer of exotic goods, Barrow Ketir, emerged from one of his expeditions in the Void. In exchange for massive amounts of cryotic, Barrow Ketir revealed the hidden knowledge of the Arcwing's whereabouts to the Tenno. With this newfound information, the Tenno resurrected the dormant Arcwings, utilizing their incredible power to defeat the Corpus against the relentless onslaught of the Balor Formorian Armada constructed by the Grineer. The Arcwings have since become an indispensable asset to the Tenno aiding them in their ongoing battles across the Origin system. Their firepower and maneuverability make them an unstoppable force against any spaceborne enemy. With this, I thank you for watching. This video took extremely long to make because I had to farm up some of the Arc Wings again, which was a pain in the ass. But now I have them. Will I ever use them? I don't know. Be sure to tell me in the comments below which Arcwing is your favorite? My favorite is Itzal, because of the Cosmic Crush ability. But I do also like Amesh since you can't die while using it. 
I am also very sorry for a few hiccups here and there with my voice because I am right now quite sick and my voice is absolutely terrible. It hurts while I talk, but I really want to make this daily, so here we go. But I'm blabbering now. Thank you again for coming by and I wish you a very nice day. Bye, guys.